A sharp spending cut in one of Kenya's largest fresh farm produce markets. Because of the inflation that we are seeing in Europe, and because of the fuel uh, costs that are uh, skyrocketing, we can see that uh, there is a slowdown in terms of demand of ornamentals. Households and businesses in the Eurozone are cutting down on less essential buys as inflation, which rose to a record 10% last month, bites. Cut flowers, one of the purchases taking a hit in a move that's frustrating producers and exporters like Isinia Roses. All our exports are mainly into Europe. Now it has reduced by 35 to 40 percent of our export to Europe. That has been the trend of late. We do not know how long it will uh, take to recover. Usually, Isinia roses will fly from this farm in the outskirts of the Kenyan capital to an auction in the Netherlands to be sold across Europe. But as the euro now loses ground against the Kenyan shilling, growers are facing uncertain times. And the costs are coming in dollars and they're exporting in euros. So the differentiation of 20% or devaluation of, of the euro 20% has knocked their revenue massively. And secondly, of course, a, a lot of the fertilizers are, are, and inputs are, are priced in dollars and they are paying in, uh, in uh, dollars and getting revenue in, in euros, which is causing a really big another cost imbalance in their balance sheet. Latest data from the Central Bank of Kenya shows that earnings from horticultural exports fell nearly 12% in the eight months through August to just about $1 billion. Official statistics for the half-year period ended June also showed income from horticultural exports dropped 11.27% year-over-year to $535 million, the sharpest fall since 2012. The spend cut in Europe is added pressure on Kenyan flowers, already hurt by COVID-19 restrictions and in recent months by the economic fallout from the Russia-Ukraine conflict. But despite this, sector players say they're not worried and are hopeful about recovery soon. We are still hopeful that we'll be able to recover. Looking at uh, now, we have uh, bilaterals ongoing with uh, 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 countries such as UAE, United Arab Emirates, and the Gulf region. We are seeing ourselves uh, taking a bit of more exports to Australia and China, and probably places like Korea. So if we're able to up our, uh, our markets, um, those new markets, we're able to take advantage, we see that is an opportunity for us, and we may still achieve the same objectives that we had for 2022. Despite the silver lining, the Central Bank of Kenya is warning that the double-digit inflation in Europe is set to have a considerable spillover effect on other markets as well. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN, Kajiado, Kenya.